Hello viewers, how are you all? Welcome to our channel Trade Empire. Today in this video, I will explain about the Fibonacci retracement tool, that how does it work, and how it is used. Fibonacci retracement is a very fine technique to identify the levels of support and resistance. So, it can help us to find out the possible reversal points of the market. Here, first we will understand about the fundamental concept of the Fibonacci tool, and further we will see a very fine trading strategy. But before moving ahead in the video, if you are new to our channel, then hit the like button and subscribe our channel, so you cannot miss our upcoming videos. In Fibonacci retracement tool, you will find different Fibonacci ratios. But what are these ratios, and how these are developed? To understand these, first you need to understand the Fibonacci series. As you can see, this is the Fibonacci series. Here each number is the sum of two previous numbers. For example, 1 is the addition of 0 and 1. 2 is the addition of 1 and 1. 3 is the addition of 1 and 2, and so on. Now accepting some numbers, if any number of the series is divided by its next number, then the ratio comes nearly to 0.618, and in the form of percentage, it will be 61.8%. Similarly, accepting some numbers, when any number of the series is divided by a number, which is two places higher than it, then ratio comes nearly to 0.382, and in the form of percentage, it will be 38.2%. Thus, all these ratios are obtained from the various calculation of the Fibonacci series numbers, and these are used as various levels in the Fibonacci tool. Now we understand the use of the Fibonacci retracement levels. When the price moves in an uptrend, it does not progress gradually. At some point, the price move in the counter direction of the trend. This counter move is called the pullback. After this type of pullback, there can be the chances for a huge sudden up move. So, a trader always wants to enter at the end of the pullback of this type, and try to get the benefit of the next sudden up move. But how we can assume the point, where the pullback comes to an end? In this situation, the Fibonacci retracement tool becomes very helpful to identify the zone, at which the price gets support. Thus, we can be able to locate the end of the pullback and can enter for a long position. In the same way, here the price is moving in the downtrend. But, during this period, the price moves in the counter direction of the trend. Therefore, this is the pullback. With the help of the Fibonacci retracement tool, here we can locate the area of resistance to the price and end of the pullback. So, we can be able to find the entry point to make the short position. In the Fibonacci retracement tool, very important levels are the 38.2%, 50%, and the 61.8%. For plotting the tool, the levels of 0 and 100% are also required. Remaining levels can be removed from the tool setting. Now the question is, how to plot the Fibonacci retracement tool? Let us understand it easily. Here the price is in the uptrend. To plot the tool, first we need the potential swing low. After getting it, we will plot the retracement tool, and then we will stretch the tool the recent swing high. After plotting the tool, if the price touches the 38.2% level like this, then our both the selected swing points are correct, and we can proceed further. Here, there are the chances that the price may be retraced any of the three levels. It may be 38.2%, 50% or 61.8% level. For this instance, the price makes the support at this level, and then it moves in the uptrend. In the similar way, here the price is moving in the downtrend. In this case, first we need to find the potential swing high, and then we can stretch the tool at the recent swing low. As the tool is plotted, just find that the price touches the 38.2% level or not. Here, the price touches the 38.2% level. Therefore, our selected both the swing points are correct. Next, the price gets resistance at this level, and after that the price again moves in the downtrend. Till here, you learned about the use and plotting of the Fibonacci retracement tool. Now it is the time for our strategy. 
more accurate trade entry cannot be determined by a single tool or indicator. We must use more than one indicator to enhance the chances of the success. So, in this strategy, we are going to use the weighted moving average indicator with the value of 100 periods. Shortly it is called WMA. Weighted moving average is more reliable indicator to find the trend, and it can be used also as support and resistance levels. As we know, when the price is in the uptrend, then the price moves in the upward direction by getting support at the moving average. Similarly, when the price moves in the downtrend, then it advances by getting resistance at the moving average. During support or resistance, if some 4 to 5 candles cross the WMA line, then it is okay. Our job is to observe that the price is making reversal and coming under the same side of WMA line again or not. Let us first look for the buying example. The price is above the 100 WMA line. So, the stock remains in the uptrend. This point looks like the recent swing low, and this point can be our recent swing high. So, here we will plot the Fibonacci retracement tool. Here, the price is getting support to the 100 WMA line. Moreover, here the price also makes support at this level. So, we will buy at the high of this candle, which closes above the 38.2% level. Our stop loss should be below the 50% level which is nearest to the 38.2% level. We will set our target at this level. You can see, after our buying, the price moved upside in the fine way, and we achieved our target. Now let us look for the sell setup. Here the price is moving below the 100 WMA line. So, the stock remains in the downtrend. For the next step, just find two potential recent swing points. This point looks like the recent swing high, and this point can be the possible recent swing low. So, here we will plot the Fibonacci retracement tool between these two swing points. As you can notice here, the price takes resistance to the 100 WMA line. Moreover, the price is making resistance at this level. This condition increases the chances for the price to cross the 38.2% level and to make a huge downtrend. So, we will sell at the low of this candle, which closes below the 38.2% level, our stop loss should be above the 50% level, and we will set our target at this level. After our sell entry, the price moved in downtrend in a very fine manner, and we could achieve our target. That was all. My dear viewers, instead of so much hard work to make this video, we only ask for two small things. If you like this video, then please hit the like button and subscribe our channel so you cannot miss our upcoming videos. Take care of yourself.